Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at three new Pokemon with their new moves again but two newer Pokemon this time. So we're going to be going with Hitmontop with Triple Axel, the ice move that is going to guarantee to raise your attack and with counter, oh this is crazy, we have something crazy on our hands here. Shadow Giraffe Rig with its new move Trailblaze, guaranteed to raise its attack and with double quick, double quick, double kick, gaining energy pretty fast, it is a great combination with Psychic Fangs. Now Hitmontop, oh man this thing is crazy so you can raise your attack every time with Triple Axel plus it's an ice move giving you coverage for flyers, ice, grass, uh, potentially like um, grass and poison type, Venusaur, Roserades, things like that. It's amazing. Or if you just want to raise your attack to do that much more. Now, I'm going to be going with Close Combat, which is a great move, right? You can also go with Stone Edge. They, it also has Gyro Ball. But you probably want to go with Close Combat or maybe just Stone Edge. So, yeah. Hit on top. I like this thing a lot. And I'm even considering, I don't know, maxing one out or something. Who knows? Uh, because with this move, uh, I mean, it's, like, it's a whole nother, <laughs> it's a whole nother ball game here. But anyways, with that said, let's see what we have going on here. If you do enjoy my videos, please give it a thumbs up. It is pretty late, so if I'm talking like I'm trying to be quiet, that's why. I don't need to. It's just systematically built in my system to at night. Anyways, we have a stun fisk. Okay, so let's kick this thing. And we do have the trailblaze. Galarian stun fisk is going to be part crown. They're shielding it up. We raise our attack. Now we're doing that much more with the trailblaze. Now with the Psychic Fangs, we will be lowering their defense. We let it go. It is a rock slide. I will shield it up as the quick move on the Stun Fisk. But Stun Fisk is not going to take us out here. And another Trailblaze. They double shield it up. We swap. We could have double kicked them down potentially. But we bring in the hip on top. They swap into their Vigoroth. We go straight for the close combat. Knowing we still have a shield left. I'm like, okay, let's just go for it. Gonna go ahead and go for the triple axle here. We're gonna raise our attack, but they're gonna be, maybe be able to farm us down. Yeah, easy money. So we have the Steelix. We're gonna go ahead and bring in the Giraffe Rig to kind of have them throw their energy here so we can have a little bit more leeway with the Steelix to potentially pull this off. So the Steelix does have the Breaking Swipe, which is gonna be lowering their attack every single time it's absolutely amazing and as a shadow it's doing a ton of damage here so we do have dragon tail as well and then psychic fangs as you can see here we're gonna shield this up and get to the breaking swipe and that's about a wrap steelix taking the win for us here looking good let's keep it going here next battle i think we're gonna keep leading with giraffe rig met with a swamper here now getting to the triple axle is kind of obvious and people know draft rig is going to have this move now some people so we're going to go ahead and just bait them here with the psychic fangs at this point we might as well dedicate to just continuously going for the psychic fangs as we're going to be doing a ton of damage because it's lowering their defense one for the first time and the second time every time you use it and it's just doing more and we're also getting stab and shadow letting that go and this person has muddy water and we're getting beat down by a muddy water swamper what the hell is going on all right, so bringing in their Venusaur, we're going to go ahead and go for some nice coverage. Triple Axel, see how much this does. Looking great. And I'm going to go ahead and swap into my Steelix. Something weird happens here. Sludge Bomb. Look. Hey, this is the beginning of the season. So, hey, you know what it is. Let's just keep it going here. Who knows what's going on? Looks like they forced close their app. I don't know. And uh, we're going to take the win. You know what? I just have to say something. Uh... <laughs> Uh, it's been windy as hell here for the past couple of days. First, it was rainy all summer. Now it's been windy as heck. And it's so damn windy. The wind is like shaking the house. So I just kind of like stood still for a second. Like I never felt that before. Anyways, what do we have here? We have a Scrafty. This is looking great. Double kicks doing super effective damage. I'm just going to throw the psychic things. Come on, shield it up. It's another trailblaze. And they shield it up. So we lowered, well, we raised, raised our attack. We lowered their defense. And they're going to take us out there. We're going to let it go. We're going to also let this go. We're going to call a power a punch. If it was a foul play, it's still not very effective. But hit him on top. 
this one specifically, the IVs are not, I don't even have 100 HP. It's 99 HP. So we have an Azumarill, which is a big issue. It could be a big issue here because it's water and we're ground with the Steelix and him on top with the Triple Axle and the fighting. That's why you may want Stone Edge. So if you get a Triple Axle in, a Stone Edge is going to do a lot of miss. I guess maybe you can just go for double Stone Edges. But nonetheless, it'll be giving you some coverage here. I know this is not looking good for the whole Azumarill thing, but the second I take off, you know, Steelix and hit him on top, the Azumarills will disappear. All right, so, you know. All right, bring it in, hit him on top. I still have two shields. I'm thinking, oh, baby, let's go. Oh, yeah, we got to use him on top here. Close combat, finishing him off, and then going for the counter down on that Scrafty. Next battle, what are we going to see? Leading with Giraffe Ravement with Hitmontop or Hitmonchan. This is good. They're going to swap into an Umbreon. We immediately bring in our Hitmontop. Not going to go for the close combat. We don't want to lower our defense, obviously, here. So we're going to go ahead and use that new move and test it out and see what we can do. Crossing my fingers, this is not psychic and it is just a foul play. We're going to counter them down here. And great, they don't even get to another charge move. I do believe they had was that. Um, uh, uh, quick attack I, I forgot what what other move it has uh again early season all right we're just testing out moves here testing out the pokemon and people are having fun here just hopping in for the heck of it and you know a lot of people just get to rank 20 and call it good i, just, I see the comments all right so we have a golbat in the back so we're going to go ahead and get their shield swap into the steelix as you know this is a good matchup for us here we do resist the poison as well as the flying shadow ball is going to pretty much ko but that's okay we're going to go ahead and just farm them down and we're taking that win there what are we going to see with the blaziken okay okay another fighter in the front i wonder what's going on with that steel type in the back got all these uh fighters up there that's pretty interesting going for the psychic things that's of course and we get to the next one but unfortunately they take us out lovely so we bring into the hitmon top here we've gotten both shields oh no just one unfortunately and we're going to go ahead and go for triple axle see what we can do here because we do have the steelix that doesn't really want to go up against this waterfall gyarados so we did get a shield there i'm thinking hmm we, yeah we're gonna have to shield this one up Go for another one since we did raise our attack. They are part flying. This is going to do a decent amount. We could swap and farm them down with the Steelix. And they've got that Subtile Shadow. Is that a Shadow Subtile I see over freaking there? Okay. <laughs> that is nice. Nice. Nice, my friend. All right. And we're going to take the win, though. That was a good game. Steelix is just a nasty monster with Dragon Tail. All right, next game, we're going to see a Metacham. All right, so they're swapping. Great. Bring it in a Registeel. I could have bring in the hip on top a little bit faster. Now, unfortunately, again, <laughs> you know, it's going to be better in the Great League or the Ultra League. I think if you have one maxed out um, because it doesn't really get that high as far as the combat is concerned for hip on top, unfortunately. So, no Master League, <laughs> okay, although I bring in Kalari and Stunfisk into the Master League. That was crazy. All right, what do we have here? Going for the Triple Axle against Charizard, swapping into the Giraffe Rig, going for the Psychic Fangs, and they let it go. Swapping back into their Medicham, we're going to go for the Psychic Fangs again. And it's doing a lot of damage, even to Medicham here. So, you know what's funny? We have all these new Pokemon, all this new meta, but I don't see a my, I don't see any of that sh stuff, okay? It's like, come on. <laughs> okay, all right. M maybe people just don't know. You know, you have to look at it like not everybody pays attention to the news and they just hop back in and they don't even know what's nerfed or not, you know? So they don't even go to the blog or anything because it's not right in the game. You have to go to the website and some people don't even bother. Hitmontop taking the win. Let's go. All right, next battle. What are we going to see here? Giraffe Rig. Show me something good. Charizard. Not particularly great for me here, but we can still do something. They're going to swap and bring in their Steelix. So we go ahead and bring in our Hitmonchan or Hitmon Top. Letting that go and kind of thinking of, I don't know, maybe I regret that there. Going to go for the Triple Axle and we're getting a shield out of them and unfortunately not farming them down. Do it's not, not particularly great but let's see what we can do here so we're gonna let this go breaking swipe we're not in a good position they had to charge our they we got a steel type back here 
So let's see. Bring in that Charizard. Nope. They did not. I think they bring in a Swampert here. Yeah, because they were expecting that. See, if we would have went for the Trailblaze, we could have one-shotted them. Could have one-shotted them here. And we get to it, folks. There you go. There you go. We're having a blast here with these new Pokemon. Just quick bursts of new tests. We'll bring you longer videos soon. Thank you for watching and take care. Finally here! <laughs> Fantastic!